What is the secret to really growing and growing fast in the music business? How are these artists taking off? How are these producers getting all these placements? Here we go, tip of the day. One thing that you really start to understand as you get in the music business, you start to understand that it's not just you. It's not just you sitting at a computer, cranking out music, sending it around to a bunch of people, and then all of a sudden you're rich and famous and you got big placements and you're, you got a platinum record, right? I used to really think that's how it worked. It was like, if I just work harder, if I just make more music, that's, that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'm going to get it. I'm just going to write that, that hit song. It used to be my mentality, like, oh, I just need a single. I just need a big song, right? And then I was like, okay, now I'm getting into music for TV, commercials. I'm composing a lot, you know, for movies, all this stuff. And I'm like, man, all I need, I just need someone to give me a shot, you know, give me a movie, give me a TV show. That's going to do it for me, man. I'm going to break. I'm going to be huge. I'm going to scale. I'm going to go crazy, make a million dollars all the time. I-, I couldn't believe, like, that that didn't happen for me. Like, I was like, what's going on here? So what I realize, and the tip of the day is, you need to share accountability with partners. You need to find publishing partners, find managers, find people that you can work with. And that's why the you know why everybody in the whole world that's doing anything with music or making any sort of living with music, their first piece of advice to you is what? Get a lawyer, <laughs> right? It's kind of funny to say it, but it's true because the lawyer is someone you're sharing accountability with, but it's also that the lawyer starts the shared accountability. You start to get agreements together, partnership agreements. You get contracts with record labels together. The publisher sends you a contract. You get it redlined by your lawyer, right? You start to make these relationships that say, hey, you're accountable for this and I'm accountable for this. I have to make five songs and deliver them with this, this, and this, and they need to be approved by your A&R and all this stuff, right? But you're going to do this. You're going to push it. You're going to market it. You're going to run the business. You're going to give me an advance of $2,000 per song. So now you have this shared accountability and it's in an agreement, a formal agreement binded by the law. That's really, really powerful. And whether you're an artist or a writer or someone that's been in a pub deal or not, right? And you feel like, oh man, my pub deal, I'm finally free of it. Or I'm a slave to my pub deal. They just want all this stuff out of me. No matter what you believe, that's what you're going to get out of this. You have to have that attitude that I'm in a pub deal. Now I'm going to go make those connections. I'm going to get those connections. I'm going to get that shared accountability from my publisher. I want, they're going to push it. I'm going to get meetings with them weekly. I'm going to call them. I'm going to follow up with them. I'm going to find out what they're doing with those records. Now, in every contract, you're always going to have a clause that says, and if you don't have this, you get a lawyer to put it in, that says that we can actually audit your books. You need to audit the label. You need to audit the publisher, the sync licensing house, the manager you're working with. Be able to audit their books. That that song was sent out. That song was done, you know, it did this many numbers. I'm owed this much money, you know. You need to be able to have that shared accountability. And that's what that whole thing is about, a contract and agreement. So this is the way the music industry scales. This is the way the these artists, Little Baby, Da Baby, these artists that you hear that are independent, right? They have shared accountability. They have managers. They have people on their team. They have they have lawyers. They have people running game for them that are accountable for certain aspects of their business. Just like any business, you have CEOs, CFOs, COOs. And if you don't know what those things are, Google it, right? You need to understand business structure and corporate structure because it's the same way that the music industry is ran. And if you're totally independent, you should still treat it like a business. Because if you're the everything person, I promise you, you're dropping a lot of balls and you're losing a lot of money and you're leaving a lot of money on the table. So that's it. That's the tip of the day. I want you guys to really find that shared accountability and really understand how it works and how you can scale your music business with that shared accountability. It's really important. Everyone around me has accountability and we share it. We say, you're responsible for this, this, and this. And if you don't perform those things, you're out of here, right? This is a sports team. This isn't a family. You, you can't kick your, your brother or your sister out of the family, but you can kick a partner out of the family that's not performing. So now get that shared accountability together. 
If you really want more accountability for your music business and what you're doing, you want to scale it faster, click the link in the description right here and join the Beat Gang. Get on our level. $30 a month will make you easily $300,000, $3,000, $30,000 a month. That investment will return every single month, I guarantee it, or I'm going to give you your $30 right back. Or you can get a whole year of the Beat Gang for $249. All right, you're going to get access to our community, to our network. You'll get into our Instagram engagement groups. Get your Instagram popping. Get your social media game going. Uh, connect with more people there, especially. Um, and also, you're going to get Zoom calls weekly with me. So you can do Q&A. We can talk more about music business. Go deeper into these topics. So if you haven't already, join the Beat Gang. Click the link in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you want more music business stuff, right? This is what this is all about. We got over 80 episodes of the Radium Podcast. We've got the plug-in of the week and these tip of the days for you guys all the time. And that's the tip of the day almost every single day.